in Las Vegas, Nevada. Took a year and a half off from his boxing career. Since coming back, has been on a hot roll. Here you see him against Clarence Howard, showing his good punching ability, stopping him in seven rounds. And since his return to the ring, Morgan has become an important man in the welterweight ranks. His opponent is unbeaten, Marlon Starling. Also with 15 knockouts, he is unbeaten. The pride of New England from Hartford, Connecticut. In his last outing against the former USBA champ, Babs McCarthy, he showed two-fisted power and particularly an impressive big right uppercut that ended the fight in the ninth round. And so we guarantee fistic action again here on CBS. And we mentioned earlier that last week you saw Donald Curry who is considered one of the rising young stars in the welterweight ranks. Today, the man they're talking about is unbeaten Marlon Starling. However, he's got to get by the USBA champion, Kevin Morgan, who hopes to elevate himself back into the top ranks. With us, as usual, on our boxing coverage is Gil Clancy and Gil and uh, Kevin Morgan. We've got a much more experienced fighter than young Marlon Starling and a guy who's done awfully well since he came back out of a brief retirement. Well, Kevin Morgan is a veteran fighter, Tim. He was always a good puncher, but he says only since his return has he learned about the sweet science of boxing. He knew nothing of leverage, nothing of balance. Now he says he's incorporated these things into his style, and he's a much better fighter for it, and his record bears him out. He's 5-0, and and he's the USBA champion. The man they call the Magic Man up in Connecticut, and his nickname, Moochie Marlon Starling, is one of those phenoms who seems to have a lot of just natural ability, but he really hasn't been in against any tough guys yet. He hasn't fought the caliber of opposition of Kevin Morgan, Tim, but he shows flashes of brilliance, and he could be the next coming star in the welterweight division. Very, very strong, very well-conditioned, quick, and a fast puncher. Punches good with either hand. Well, we may have another star born here today. We're about ready to go. Let's go to the ring announcer, Marvin Goldberg. Ladies and gentlemen, Madison Square Garden, in conjunction with Tony Trudnick, are proud to present the 12-round USBA Welterweight Championship. In the red corner, wearing blue trunks, weighing 146, undefeated in 23 bouts, from Hartford, Connecticut, Marlon, the Magic Man, Sterling. And in the blue corner, wearing white trunks, weighing 146 and a half, 15 KOs and 20 wins from Las Vegas, Nevada, the USB welterweight champion, Kevin Morgan. Scattered booze for the USBA champion, Kevin Morgan, and that is mainly because there is quite a contingent here from the Connecticut area around Hartford uh, to support Marlon Starling. As we see the tail of the tape, Starling weighed at 146, the champion at 146 and a half, the limit 147. 12 rounds of boxing. Kevin Morgan, now living in Las Vegas, born in Youngstown, unbeaten Marlon Starling with about seven busloads of fans coming down to see him in his toughest test yet as an undefeated young rising star in the welterweight ranks. The magic man in blue trunks with gold trim. Morgan in white trunks with blue trim. The referee is Vincent Rainoni from New Jersey. The judges are Tony Castellano and Simon Ramis. Those three men will figure in the scoring if necessary at the end of 12 rounds. Scoring in New York on the round system with a supplemental point system in the event of a draw. room before the fight, Kevin Morgan said, Starling's not going to have to look for me, so I'm going to stay right on his chest all night long. Oh, and he didn't have to look for him. There he went. Good left hook. Oh. A quick left hook. Oh. As Starling was turning away Seven. from Morgan, came out of nowhere and sent him to the canvas. Morgan appears to be all right, but he was startled. Now Starling trying to seize that advantage. We'll see that bolo punching uppercut from Starling. It's one of his favorites. And he lands it with considerable power. Morgan takes another left hand that rocked him, and he is wobbling already. Starling firing away, and down goes Morgan three, again. Three, Starling four, has knocked the champion five, down twice in this six, first round. Seven, Morgan eight. looks a little less bright than he did after the first knockdown. He's in trouble. Starling trying to finish him off in the first round of the scheduled 12-rounder. The more experienced Morgan trying to survive. 
can't get away. He can't get away from that uppercut of Stalin's. No, he can't, and his legs are not under him, Gil. He is still in big trouble. Throwing punches, gamely, but his eyes are not on the target. Starling trying to find an opening to land a clean one. There's a good solid right hand, and Morgan stays out. A left and a right, another left hook, and another one. And Morgan wobbling on the left to right hand, and that's it. Vincent Rainoni has stopped the fight late in the first round, and Marlon Starling remains unbeaten and is the new USBA welterweight champion with an easy victory over the veteran Kevin Morgan. Jim, that's what you call getting caught cold. He caught Morgan with those first couple of punches in the first round, and Morgan just never recovered. That wasn't Kevin Morgan in there after that first punch landed. We never did get a chance to see what Kevin Morgan can do. He has won five in a row coming into this fight, but Starling, when he landed that short left hook, two minutes had him in trouble. And six seconds in the first round. Two minutes and six seconds of the first round. Starling, once he landed that left hook, knew that he had Morgan in trouble. Even though Morgan got up quickly and appeared to be all right, Starling was all over him and rocked him with a second knockdown. And Morgan just simply was not in the fight from that uh, first left hook on. We're going to go back into the round here as the doctors examine Kevin Morgan. He is apparently all right. Earl Shore, the doctor, looking over him. Now let's go back into the action. You'll see there it is, that left hook. Just as Starling Gill looks like he was starting to step over to his right, he let the left hand go, and it looked like Morgan didn't even see it coming. Here's the second knockdown. An off-balance left hand. There's that uppercut, Tim. That's a vicious punch when it lands. That's the one he knocked Fabs McCarthy out with. Very unorthodox puncher, but he's a good puncher, this Starling. There he's trying to bury an uppercut against him. Very down one to his body. He's got him hurt. And there goes the uppercut again. He loves that punch. Sure does. We saw him in uh, several fights on videotape. There's a solid left hook, and that's the second knockdown. And Morgan was really out of it at this point. He had no legs under him. And here's the end of the fight. Starling with Morgan obviously in trouble. Gets him back toward the ropes. Referee Rainoni watching closely. Another solid left hook. And he starts to go down even then. Then another left hook and down he goes. And Rainoni, the referee, stepped in quickly as Starling waiting to see whether Morgan was going to survive. Got in one more extra shot. Here comes Rainoni and says that's enough. So we and have a new right USBA so, welterweight champion, and there he is, unbeaten Marlon Starling. Hardly a workout for the young man. They call the Magic Man in Hartford, Connecticut. We're going to return here momentarily to talk to one of the outstanding young stars of the welterweights, right? Marlon Starling from Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, if you tuned in late, you might have missed the whole thing, but we're going to show you the knockdowns again. 2.06 of the first round. Marlon, uh, he was an experienced guy, perhaps the most experienced fighter that you faced with a, a better record than a lot of the guys you've already stopped. Were you surprised you got him that quick? No, not really. I worked, you know, I, I trained to go 15, 12 rounds, but I'm, I'm happy with the win. Well, you got a solid left hook into him. He seemed to recover from the first knockdown all right, but his legs started to go when he got him the second time. He must have known he was finished. Well, I was listening to my corner. They tell, keep telling me to put them together. I, I was a little head crazy, but eventually everything worked out all right. Well, you saw a chance to win your title with a first-round knockout. That's understandable. That's right. You know, <laughs> pick them where you can get them. All right, Marla, let's go back into, uh, into this round, and we'll see that first knockdown. You watch for a solid left hook and describe what happened. Well, there, I'm just trying to fill him out, and I caught him with a good uppercut, and that left hook really hurt him. Looked like you were just stepping to your right there, and he didn't see that punch coming. No, I, I, I was missing just a wee bit with that, that left uppercut, I mean, the right uppercut. And then I knew right, finished the, finish the work, and... This is the second knockdown coming up again. You just missed with that uppercut. Right, I just missed with that uppercut, and the hook. I think I would hurt this guy with anything I catch him with. Every, every punch he threw, I seen, him, seen it coming. There's that left hook again. That one landed solid. Is that right uppercut your favorite punch, though? <laughs> it's one of them. It's one of them. I like to work, work you over. You know, I, I can hurt you with either hand. I'm not, you know, it, it doesn't make me no difference what I get you with as long as I get you. I don't want you to hurt me with either hand, Marlon, but here you are in the third knockdown, and at this point, you had to know he was done. Well, I, I didn't know it was, um, I, they didn't tell me if it was a three-knockdown rule, but I was going to keep on putting him down until I was done. 
Another good left hand, and then he got an extra right hand, just as Vinny Rinaldi was already headed over. He knew Kevin Morgan had had enough. An impressive victory for you, young man. You're unbeaten now and uh, continuing uh, upwards in the welterweight ranks. Who would you like to fight next? Well, I would like to fight the best in that division. You know, I seen some fights last week with a uh, Milton McCarvey and Roger Stafford. I've been one. I told my manager, let's get Milton McCarvey a long time ago. I don't care who I get, as long as I get the championship of the world. How about Donald Curry? Do you watch him? It doesn't make any difference who I get, as long as they get, I get him in the ring. Well, the division is interesting with uh, Sugar Ray Leonard uh, still, uh, his, his status still in doubt as to whether he'll come back or not, but uh, you are certainly one of the guys that figures in the title picture. Congratulations to you. Thank you. you. I just want to say hi to all my fans in Harvard. I love you. You had a lot of them down here, and they gave you great support. The new USBA champion, Marlon Starling, and now let's go back.